Hi Scorpio, I'm here to do your end of July reading. Uh, this is generally a love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Just remember, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Nine of Cups in the World card. We have a completion here. We have a major completion. One phase, one chapter, one point in your life, one long-term commitment, whatever it was, whatever something that you have been doing for a long time, hanging on to or working on. This could be a graduation. I'm just giving you a couple examples. This could be a marriage. This could be a relationship. This could be... Um, a job, anything. The something is coming to a completion. Okay? And it's going to make you happy. <laughs> okay, it is. It's going to make you really, really happy. Whatever it is. There could be a new offer coming in. Okay, maybe you've been alone for a really long time. This can mean a lot of things. Maybe you've been single and, and now you have a new beginning. This is something that has been going on for a long time. It's over. It's over. Something new is going to happen. With this Four of Cups reverse, it's like there could there's a new opportunity being offered to you, Scorpio. There's been a loss of self. You've probably been feeling a little empty, maybe going through a little bit of a repression, waiting for this new beginning to happen. It feels as though maybe you maybe you were beginning to give up. I don't know. Maybe you were thinking about going back to the past or just thinking that you were never going to find this emotional contentment. You may, may have been in your head about it, thinking, you know what, I've been waiting forever. I've been really patient. I've been waiting for this to happen, and it's never going to happen. But I feel like it's going to happen. Whatever it is, it's going to happen. You may be think, be ready to give up on it, thinking, you know, it's just not. It's not. Because, you know, if you think about this, eights are the time is now. Both of these eights are reversed. And this is you've been waiting for a while. You've been waiting for something to begin for quite some time. And during this waiting period, like I said, you may have went through some sort of, you know, repression, whatever it is. Um, it was some... <laughs> You were waiting for this new chapter. You were waiting for this new beginning. You've been waiting. It's it's evident that you have. But it feels like this is the time that things are going to start to change for you. I feel like you've really done a lot of inner work on yourself, male or female. Whoever is watching this has done a lot of inner work, a lot of healing. And this is the birth of something new. That's what this is. Where you things have been stagnant. It's like you've been through a period of bad luck. Okay, the wheel reversed is bad luck. So I, if, I feel like now wish fulfillment is coming because you're, you're allowing it. You've done a lot of inner work, a lot of um, soul healing, um, soul work, self-love. And when you get to this point of being the empress, whether you're male or female, okay, because we all have feminine qualities, male, you know, male, masculine and feminine, I feel like now... Um, is a time of empowerment where you're going to get what you deserve because you've done the work that you needed to do on yourself. And even though you may feel like giving up, don't give up because it's coming. There's going to, there's something is coming together. Okay. Something is coming together and there is going to be something coming into your life that is new. I don't know what it is, but now how other people see how other people see you is you may be coming across that you you are repressed. I mean, this is how other people see you. The high priest is reversed. Now, this is this is repression. This is silent. So other people might not understand your silence. They not, may not understand you at this time because you've gone deep within. You've become one with who you are. And that's fine. 
they don't have to understand you. You understand you and that's all that really matters. So I think on the outside, people are people are, may feel a little intimidated by you because of your inner strength, your inner knowing. That's fine. Whatever. That's whatever. So your challenge is not, it's the Eight of Cups reversed. The Eight of Cups reversed is um, not thinking that it's not ever going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Don't, your challenge is to remain positive. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You may be thinking about walking away, okay? Here we have thinking about walking away, and this is the same. So you're maybe thinking about walking away from one situation, completing a cycle so that you can find the real deal. So, you know, this is for so many people. Somebody is thinking about walking away, giving up on, on perhaps a relationship, you know. That's what it looks like. They're thinking, you know what, there's got to be more to this. There's got to be. There's got to be. I've been patient. I've been waiting for so long. I, I deserve love. So some of you are in a, in a relationship that is going nowhere, and you're thinking about giving up on it. Some of you, this has to do with uh, waiting for that relationship. My readings are love readings. You know, here we have the justice reverse. This is unfairness. It's unfairness. This is dishonesty. It's um, things are unbalanced at this time. Now, we have karma and destiny right next to each other. They're both reversed. They're both reversed. You may be dealing with some, some negative karma, some, some negative situation from, from the past. Okay, because this could signify something from a past life. It's part of the script. Maybe you signed up for this decades, uh, lifetimes ago, you know, to deal with this. And maybe that's why you feel like you're being treated unfairly. Or maybe that's why you're going through this period. But I have to tell you that whatever this period was, it's over. Karma, lesson. The world card is a lesson. A lesson has been learned. So whatever karmic lesson that you have been dealing with that has caused a repression and caused some loneliness and caused you to go silent and whatever, that cycle of your life is over. It is. Even though this Wheel of Fortune, this was bad luck. It was bad karma. You were dealing with a bad karmic situation. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Whether it's from this lifetime or another lifetime. Maybe in another lifetime there was ego because this is a card of ego. You know, maybe the ego drove or maybe even in this lifetime. I mean, I don't know. But when you feed and you live off of ego, yes, karma is going to come to kick you in the ass. So, I mean, I don't know if that's in this lifetime or another lifetime, but one karmic debt one karmic lesson is going to be paid. It's over. It's done. You're about to receive some sort of reward because you've, you've become the, this energy. This energy is one of self-worth, self-love, compassion, kindness, generosity. Love. And when you become this energy opportunities and people chase you so whatever this whatever it was that you went through that was hell is done it's over or it's about to be over there's going to be a new opportunity coming in there is with the four of cups reversed something you've been waiting for but you may have to stop putting effort into something first I don't know what that is. Let's see. What do, you, what do you need to give up? Something needs to be given up here. The fight. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that is very vindictive. Somebody that is um, causing a lot of conflicts in your life. Could be anybody. It could be anybody. But, it, you know, this is somebody who is... Uh, A liar, untrustworthy. A 
a big talker but has no follow through, says things without thinking, you know, so that you can have victory and success in your life. You're going to have to hold your head up high. And treat yourself with respect. You're dealing with another person. That is hurting you in some way. That page of swords reversed is hurting you. They're hurting your success. They are. They have been. You need to let go of a that person. Whoever it is. This is the end of a commitment. It's like there's so much discontent. That you need to let go of. So I do believe that there is another person that you are connected to. I don't know in what realm, but you're connected to this person. I think it could be an air sign that is causing a lot of unhappiness for you. They're probably not putting in much effort, but they say they are. You know, they're probably really, really mean-spirited. Maybe they're just focused on what you can provide for them financially. You're dealing with somebody that is very stubborn, somebody that is jealous, somebody that um, may only be focused on everything but love. Could be any sign we have earth and air at this point on this side. There's, there's like a, um, well, it could be anybody taking on these energies. You're dealing with somebody who even may hide things, you know, very secretive. But you've got to release it. You need to let this situation go so that you can, so that you can have this new beginning. Let go of this anxiety. Let go of this worry. Let go of this guilt. And then this person may be trying to make you feel guilty for doing what's right for you. They may use guilt as a tactic to keep you somewhere, to keep you committed. Don't feel guilty. That's definitely a tactic. You know, there's heartache here. There's hurt. There's suffering. Sorrow, grief, regrets. True suffering brings true growth. And I see the growth. Happiness is on the horizon. Happiness is coming, Scorpio. There's hurt, sorrow, grief, guilt. This is a Leo. This is a release. Someone from your past? Are you holding on to someone from your past or the this could be somebody that you have children with or memories of love holding on to memories but there's there's some sort of deception here there's some sort of cheating there's some sort of lie lie about the happiness it hurts i don't know what the hell this is Liberation, freedom. You need to free yourself from this deception, whatever it is. Some, but there is some sort of lie here. There is some sort of It's almost like backstabbing. It's like you're robbing yourself. You are robbing yourself of happiness. By staying in a situation that hurts. I don't know who this is for. This is freedom. This is liberation. You're dealing with an individual who is focused on everything but real true love. Okay? There's no love in these cards. None. None in this section. There's no love. It's time for you to move forward to find victory and success. You have self-love, yes. 
but whoever is over here in this section that isn't putting in a lot of effort, you're thinking about giving up on, I don't, there's no love cards, none. There's memories of love, yes. There was love at one time. But right now, right now, there's not. There's mental conflict, there's turmoil, there's stress. There is. All these swords, there's a lot of stress. You're dealing with a lot of stress. You're dealing with somebody who is like robbing you, robbing you of happiness. I, mean, I can't make that up. Now, what about future here? It looks like you guys are about to end a karmic situation. A lesson has been learned. You're about to step out of this period of darkness. This is stepping into the light, starting to realize the truth. Um, no longer going to allow yourself to be a victim here. No more. No more. Um, this is the end of difficulty. Having, you know, there's no rush. There's no, there's no need to hurry this, but there's also no need to... Allow yourself to be deceived. Okay, you're dealing with an untrustworthy individual, and I think that you know it. I do. I think that you know it. You've been hanging on, though. You've been hanging on for dear life, and I don't know why. You've been hanging on to something. This is resisting change. This is, this is the master of non-attachment, does not really want to change, doesn't want to change, doesn't want to see things from a new perspective, but is being called to see things from a new perspective. Fear of the unknown. This too, fear of the unknown. Staying in an in a energy-thieving type of scenario. You're dealing with an energy thief. That's what I'm trying to say. They're stealing your glow. They're stealing your positive energy because they don't have it. But you're staying there because it's safe. Okay, we're talking about future and love now. We want to know about good love, good love, good love. You need to walk away. I mean, come on now. This is no longer wanting to prove myself. I mean, I can't prove myself. I don't want to prove myself. I just want to be happy. It's time for my happiness. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. In reversed, your ego, ego up here, is not worth my time or energy. There's an end of a contract. There's an end of a union, end of a partnership. There's incompatibility. There's too many arguments. There's, there is. There's too much conflict. I just want to be happy. It's time for me to broaden my horizons and go through a new door. You have to make a decision whether to stay or go. I think there's a lot of restlessness. There's a lot of fear of the unknown. And you may decide to suddenly leave this situation where there is much, much mental turmoil. And the karmic lesson is finding the strength to do so. <laughs> to step into the unknown. The karmic lesson is this hangman to get unstuck. You've been sacrificing yourself so long. It's time to let go. The card means it's time to let go. You have a new door, a new road right in front of you. Take the step. You'll find happiness. You'll find victory and success. If you put yourself first, the right opportunities will, will fall right into your lap. But right now, you're being deceived. You're living in some sort of illusion. Fear. Okay. 
be careful. You're dealing with somebody is, that you don't know. Not all as it seems. That's what I'm trying to say. This person isn't all that they crack that they're cracked up to be. And I think you know that now. I think you do know that now. But you're still staying there because of this fear. There's great fear of the unknown. Great fear. With the moon and the hay man both here. You know, there's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of heartache. Power struggles back and forth, back and forth. It's like you're playing a game here. So anyway, I feel like this end of July is about making a decision. This is a decision that needs to be made. Do you stay or do you go? It looks like he's looking forward. He's looking to expand. He's looking for growth. He's not, he's not hanging on to this one in the back anymore. It looks as though he's getting ready to move forward towards the future. Leaving the past behind. He's not bringing it. His hand's not on it. Your advice is to move forward. Towards happiness. Away from ego. Away from this conflict. Away, away from this disorganization and chaos and control. It's like you're being controlled. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. I mean, I'm not going to keep going with those. I'm going to get one of these and one of those. Actually, I'm going to get one of these first. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I feel like you guys are have an opportunity for a new beginning. It's waiting. One cycle of your life is over. One cycle, one karmic lesson is over. You have to allow it, though, or you're going to continue to struggle. That's what's happening. There's a contract, a karmic, look at this, karmic contract. They're both reversed. It's done. It's, but you, the thing is, is you're trying to stop this. You're trying to stop it from ending, but it's going to end. You're just prolonging it. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's caused a loss of self. <laughs> mm. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You take that however it is. I don't know what that means. Falling out, one flipped over. Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. That's what this reading is about. Practice compassion. I feel as though there's an opportunity waiting for you with somebody that is better suited because the lover's card would signify that, but you are in a contract that you are not well suited for. Do I see new love coming in? I think that you need to end a contract first. And then there will be a new beginning that will make you really, really, really happy. But at this point, I think it's stalled. I think it is absolutely stalled. So anyway, that's what I have. I mean, I can't, it is what it is. Now, I don't know any Scorpios. I don't talk with any Scorpios. So I don't know who's, who this reading is for. Oh yeah, I do talk with one Scorpio. I do talk with one Scorpio, but I don't think this reading is, resonates with him. I don't know who this reading is for.
but there is an end of a contract here. There's been too much, too much fighting. And this card says that there's a there's somebody else. There's some you do have somebody else. But right now you're messed up with the wrong one. But anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later.